Alright, so y'all have met the like goal for the hangar review video. The video itself didn't do fantastically, but most of you guys that watched it seemed to enjoy it. Uh, there are going to be a few changes made this time. Uh, the first one is going to be when you put your ID in the comments for me to possibly review your hangar next. Then please let me know two extra things. I want to know what gear hub tier you're in. Uh, which, what is the highest tier that you have unlocked, as well as whether or not you are a free-to-play player. So that'll help me in uh, what kind of advice that I give. And the other thing is, I'll be slapping some random gameplay in the background while I'm talking about certain things. Uh, I, I really can't make the gameplay relevant. I know a, a lot of people were just like, oh, just add relevant gameplay, it's easy. Like, you haven't made these videos, so you don't know that. It's very tedious getting relevant gameplay, even if I do have access to the test server because I have to set up like six different hangers and then run like seven different matches per hanger just to get 30 second clips for small things that I'm talking about. To keep these from being like six hour projects, like a lot of my videos are, I'm just going to add relatively random gameplay to the background. And hopefully that will allow me to make these videos more often but yeah, let's just get into it. So we were sent this ID from Liz. Uh, I already checked it out a little bit, but uh, yeah, let's, let's go through here. Pretty good. Uh, another change that I'm going to make is that the last time I used the squad power as the uh, to basically act as the budget. So in this case, it would be 4,700 A coins of budget. Somebody in the comments suggested I use inventory power, and I'm not going to lie, that does actually kind of make more sense. So I'm going to use half of what the inventory power is. In this case, it would be uh, 5,420. Uh, they did say, the next thing I'm going to buy is Surge, and it will have Ember 12 and 6. What should I buy next? Okay, so I'm going to assume at this point that, I mean, they still haven't gotten that yet, but they have the Ember 6 here, and then they have the 12... Uh, probably they'll get the 12 when the time comes. I doubt they have it right now. This Graviton Panther is nice. We're not going to include the cost of Surge or the Ember 12 because those are they're just get, they're going to get that anyway. Um, but here, the thing is, one, one thing I did notice is like here, your kill shot has 16 energy. You're only using 12, and this is what happens when you have two. Uh, builds with the same energy size, like these are both medium mechs, meaning that they both have 24 energy at max level. You give two of the same energy mechs the same weapon, then that means they're competing for these weapons. So only one of them gets the eights. You can't give both of them the eights. Uh, since since Ember gone on Surge eventually, it's going to be incredibly strong and probably the best decision that you could make, all things considered. I would try to pivot away from ember gun vortex it'll probably be, this is probably a good build in like free for all 2v2 but it's not really great in cpc now you do have the chain gun 10 and 6 on aegis this is great this is the only reason that i would say anyone should get the chain gun 6 and people ask me like oh what what should i get should i get the chain gun 6 or should i just skip it get the chain gun 6 if you're going to pair it with a chain gun 10 later, because you should get the chain gun 10 regardless. Uh, but then, you know, you could use double tens on Panther, like he's doing with these Graviton Beams, and that's usually what people do, is they double up the Graviton Beams, put it on Panther. And that's a really good idea. You could do the same thing with chain gun, but you could also get the six so that you could pair it with the 10 and put it on something like Aegis. And then you got the classic scuffed build off on the left here. So, one thing that kind of stood out to me is that, I mean, first off, your mech lineup is great. Like, Orion is a very anti-pay-to-win mech. Like, it's able to kill a lot of stuff if you have decent weapons on it, which you don't really at the moment. Um, this Aegis is good. Uh, this Vortex is really good. This Panther is good. This is pretty good, as well as the fact that it will be replaced by a Surge, which is even better. So in terms of mechs, you're not really looking to get anything. But the one thing I did notice is that your pilots are all messed up. Like this is an assault pilot. It's not helping either of these weapons. So w when they changed the pilots, the entirety of the, we uh, of the weapon damage bonus 
is all an innate skill. So now this pilot, even I mean, it, it, you have the implants on it. That's good. But it's giving you 13% HP, but zero bonus damage. Zero. Now you don't have any assault builds, obviously. But uh, this goes for most of your builds, actually. Uh, like this one. This is, these are heavy duty weapons, and then you have a maxed Neymar Jr., which is Assault and Missile. You're getting no bonus damage from this. Uh, this one's good. Check the implants real quick. This is a nice set of implants. The Vortex Field damage is actually really nice. And then this is a, <laughs> this is a Missile Pilot. So, even though you have Graviton implants on here, uh, they're not really doing you a lot of good. And then finally you have G-Lock with more Ember, plus ability damage. Not bad. So like right off the bat, the very least that I would do is I would put Diesel onto Orion. Yeah, it's going to make your Panther slightly weaker in terms of HP, and you'll have one less implant slot, which by the way, just get rid of the Graviton range. Like, you're probably never outside of 100 meters with this weapon. But the Missile Pilot will give uh, the at least the Missile Rack 6 like an extra 35% damage, and that's a pretty significant increase. So at least there's that to be done. But apart from that, uh, you're missing you're missing pilot for barrage, heavy duty, and beam. However, beam you will probably not use once your panther outgrows the graviton tens. Beams are not like particularly great. The barrage is kind of iffy. A lot of barrage weapons cost eight coins, so you will probably use some barrage, but almost definitely not as much as you use heavy duty because uh well you have the chain guns here you can duplicate the 10 later and then minigun is just like incredibly strong weapon so it's definitely a really good idea to get those so yeah between everything i would say probably heavy duty pilot is your priority there uh that's a uh, 3840 a coins for uh, chimera and the next thing I would go for is Disc Launcher 8. I notice you do not have that. You could probably put the Disc Launcher 8s on Vortex, and they would likely work very, very well. At this SP, Disc Launcher is a phenomenal weapon. Uh, you might not use it for like a super long time, so maybe getting a guided pilot isn't worthwhile. But I'm sure a lot of people in the comments will agree Disc Launcher is a very good weapon at this squad power. Now, Vortex is a good, uh, a good mech for, like, bullet spray um, weapons, so you might be wondering, like, well, why, why would I not suggest to put the chain gun on Vortex? It sounds like a pretty obvious choice. Well, if you saw this video about best free-to-play Vortex weapons, chain gun and graviton beam did not make the cut. Vortex is the type of mech that uh, specializes in being able to deal with multiple enemies at a time and being aggressive with multiple enemies at a time. Graviton and Changon are both weapons that do really, really bad at being aggressive toward multiple enemies at the same time, or even just being aggressive in general. These are, these are ranged weapons. These are not weapons that you push forward with. They make a really bad pairing on Vortex, honestly, which is kind of sad. <clears throat> Alternatively, you could put the Disc Launcher on Orion. That should be pretty good as well. Probably better than this scuffed build, uh, and especially since this probably does work really well in like free-for-all and 2v2. And then apart from that, I would say your goal should be to either duplicate this Nade Launcher 10. You can get some of the Cryo Launchers that cost credits, but I would go for duplicating the Nade Launcher 10. A lot of your mechs, they will cap out at like 20 energy. Like medium mechs, when they hit rank 6, they get 20 energy. And then they don't get 24 until they're maxed out. And you don't understand how long it takes to max out a mech. Like the number of blueprints it takes to get from rank 5 to rank 6, it takes like 4 times as many to get from rank 6 to max. So it's not going to happen anytime soon. Which means you should probably be trying to set yourself up with some good duplicate 10 energy weapons or 12 and 8s uh, which you already have the ember gun 8 and then you'll get the ember gun 12 later that's a really good choice as well so yeah in terms of what you should do right now i would put this missile pilot on orion just to kind of help it out a little bit it's because it's not really helping the panther at the moment i would buy disc launcher 8 that is for credits so it will not impair your ability to buy surge or ember gun 12. once you have the surge and the ember gun 12 and uh, you have this build here replaced, then you can go for a legendary heavy duty pilot. 
and uh, also for duplicating the Nade Launcher 10. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, hopefully this helps set you up for the relatively near future. Otherwise, yeah, thank you for your hanger. And of course, once again, if any of you guys want your hanger in a future episode of this, make sure to at least give me these three things. Your in-game ID, the gear hub tier that you're in, and whether or not you are free to play. But otherwise, yeah, that will be it for me. Appreciate y'all. Take care.